Hello, welcome. Let's try to solve another decode problem. Um, 2563. Uh, yeah, so for this problem, we're going to count the number of uh, fair pairs. So the definition of the fair pairs is uh, we are giving a zero index array nums, and uh, we are giving the lower and the upper bounds. We're going to return the number of fair pairs. So a fair pair, i and z pair, is uh, a fair pair if i less than j less than n and more than equal to zero and uh, nums i plus num j gonna be less than equal to upper and more than equal to lower. Uh, the brute force idea is that we just need to count how many pairs. So for example, we count n six pairs, but that's gonna be n squared. Definitely, it will not work because n is ten to the power of five. Now uh, we're gonna find another idea. So normally. Uh, this is a two sum. So if this is a two sum, it is x plus y, and basically we're gonna use uh, uh, the two sum idea to solve the problem. So this is x plus y. Yeah, this x y is just two values inside of the nums. It's gonna be less than and equal to the upper bound, and more than and equal to the lower bound. Yeah. Now let's just turn this formula into another one because definitely. In programming, we're going to enumerate the value one by one to check the final result. And if we are going to check the pairs, definitely if we change the order, um, there will be no influence to the final result. Yeah. So for example, if we take, um, change the order, we're going to sort it in increasing order because maybe we're going to use some um, binary search to solve the problem. So after sorting, it's going to be um, 0, 1, 4, 4. 5 and 7. So this is going to be the array after sorting. And now we are going to turn this formula to the familiar ones. Yeah, because definitely we cannot enumerate two values in one loop. So in one for loop, we can only enumerate one value. So let's just turn this formula to y less than or equal to the upper bound minus x and more than and equal to the uh, lower bound. Uh, minus the x. Yeah. Now the problem becomes clear. We just have one value, and this value is going to be the enumerated value. So we're going to enumerate this y one by one until we find the final result. But how can we enumerate that? So for this x and this x here, so this is going to always be the previous value before this y. Otherwise, they're going to be duplicate. So for example, uh, we are going to enumerate this value, uh, maybe, yeah, let me try to use this value, maybe, maybe, let me check. Yeah, maybe we are going to enumerate this value uh, 5, and uh, we want to check how many pairs, uh, with including uh, this value 5. Yeah, so currently we can call it, yeah, because we're going to find some value, it is the more than equal to 3, less than equal to 6 here. So 5 and 0, 5 and 1. So definitely there are going to be two pairs for this 5. But how can we solve it by using binary search? Currently, we're going to enumerate this value y. It is 5. And now we have the upper bound and the lower bound. So the upper bound is going to be 6. Enumerate this value x. And another one is this value, lower bound 3, minus x. So we are going to check the value from 3 minus x to uh, 6 uh, minus uh, this value x. And how many x can be? It can only be starting from 0, 1, 4, and 4. Definitely, 5 is not inclusive because there's no duplicate, right? So we are going to check in these areas, and we are going to check how many, uh, how many values plus this 5 to, make the, to meet the final conditions. And the final conditions is just like uh, 6 minus x and 3 minus x. So let's check one by one. So for example, 0. 3 minus 0, it is a 3. And uh, 6 minus 0, it is a 6. So 5 is inside, inside of the bound. So it means 0 is OK. So what about 1? 3 minus 1, it is a 2. And 6 minus 1, it is 5. 2 to 5. And this is 5. This is also OK. So what about this 4? 3 minus 4, it is minus 1. 6 minus 4, it is 2. Minus 1 to 2. But this 5, it is, is outside. So 
it means it is not possible. So if this 4 is not possible, definitely after that, all the numbers will not possible. Currently it is, it is 4, maybe this is 5, maybe there's another number 5, yeah, that, that is just an example. If this 4 is not, not possible, definitely the 5 will not be possible. So this is why we can use a binary search um, to solve the problem. Yeah. First, first of all, we're going to enumerate this value one by one, five, and then we're going to check all the values before it. We're going to check how many pairs. So we're going to find the uh, lowest value, so for three minus x, and we, we're going to also uh, find the maximum possible uh, value. Yeah, but currently, uh, we're going to use this x as five to check how many values meet the conditions. So for example, currently we have this value 5, so 3 minus 5 is going to be minus 2, and 6 minus 5 is going to be uh, 1. Yeah. Now the problem becomes clear. We just need to check how many values is in between minus 2 to 1, because we can calculate by using this 5, and the range is going to be starting from this 0, 1, 4, 4, so how many values. So it's going to be 0 and 1, because 0 and 1 is inside the range from minus 2 to 1. So it's going to be two values. And how can we count those two values? Definitely, we can use the bisect the left and bisect the right. So while we are using the bisect the left, uh, so we're going to, this is our array for the bisect the left, and we're going to check this value minus 2. Currently, the index is going to be here. It's going to be index 0. And now we're going to use the bisector right to check this value 1. So for this 1, after that, it's going to be here. Yeah, because bisector right, it's going to always be while we find this value, it's going to be the next. It's going to be index 2. And how many values? It's going to be 2 minus 0. It's going to be two values. It means we find two pairs. So this is the idea of uh, how to solve the problem. Yeah. Because for bisector right, it is always more than that value, and bisect the left, it's always more than and equal to this value. So, this is more than and equal, but if we were to find a value less than, it's going to be a minus 1. So from here, this index j, this is the index i, and here is index i minus 1. Yeah. So this means, uh, uh, normally, we're going to count how many pairs, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be j, minus i plus 1 and minus 1 because it will not include itself yeah because definitely it will be 5 to all other values so it's going to be z minus i so z minus i will going to be uh yeah exactly how many pairs we just need to yeah plus all the values of z minus i for each of the enumeration yeah i think if uh, we understand uh, why we can solve it by using binary search. Now we can solve the problem. We're going to prepare a result. And we're going to enumerate all the values one by one. So for i, uh, let's use v, enumerate uh, the nums. Uh, so we're going to check the lowest value. Uh, we're going to use bisector left and bisector right. So l is going to be equal to the um, bisect uh, left uh, with the, the number nums and we're going to check this value so for the bisect left it's going to be the uh, the formula is going to be the lower uh, minus uh, this value uh, v and it's going to be starting from 0 to i this i is not inclusive so this means from index 0 to i minus 1 we're going to check the uh, nums array, we're going to check the value lower minus v. And similarly, and we're going to prepare the right uh, pointer. It's going to be right index, bisect uh, right, definitely. It's going to be nums and uh, upper minus v. It's going to be 0 to i. Now we're going to check how many of them. It's going to be lr minus l. And finally, uh, we're going to check the final on result. Now let me just run it to tag. As you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to tag if it can pause. Um, yeah, there's something wrong with it. Uh, so for this one, yeah, so for this example, for the lower and upper, it is 13. So it's going to be uh, 2. It's going to be 3 pairs. But uh, 
yeah, my output is uh, 2. Uh, let me check what is wrong with it. the upper minus y yeah I think I forgot to sort the nums yeah because definitely the nums gonna be um, sorted otherwise we cannot use a binary search right now let me just uh, yeah check this testing case I think it, sh it should be okay now as you can see it works now let me just submit it again to check as you can see it works yeah, so after sorting, we're going to use the boundary search to solve the problem. Thank you for watching. See you next time.